Hey guys, it's me, Leo. So, I'm here to show you all my Doctor Who collection review. I just decided to make it because I thought about it because I was listening to Doctor Who, Peter Capaldi. The, um, you know, 12th, 12th Doctor. So, I'm going to review the very first TARDIS I ever made was a Lego version. You gotta play the card you got Who knows what fate is holding This is the first TARDIS I've ever made no And I have some old YouTube channels Where I reviewed doing this Before I ever became This kind of person It was a very long time ago This is supposed to be like David Tennant's TARDIS I decided to make it because I was inspired to Because Doctor Who has actually Changed my life And kind of saved it at the same time I want to say these are the figures. This is supposed to represent David Tennant. This figure is the head's from Superman. I decided to do that because it kind of looked like David Tennant in a way. But not really. This is this character was supposed to be like some kind of character. I forgot her what I named her. Now, the second TARDIS I made, because I'm going in order the best I can. Second TARDIS I made was this. Now, this is usually right where the phone is. But I will show you all the inside, because I did the inside, too. It's supposed to represent David Tennant's TARDIS, too. Because you see David Tennant in there with the Sonic and Rose behind him, because I can see it from the camera. Yeah, Rose Tyler. I did the console, the time rotor, and everything else. I did the walls. Basically, it's just orange paper, well, gold, a dark gold orange painted to represent the TARDIS, but I should have just put like a printed paper beside the walls and in front of it, but I decided to do this 3D style because I was a big fan of Doctor Who then. The third TARDIS I made was this. It's a miniature size one, entirely different. The roof. I don't know why I decided to do it. I just thought of it. Put paper over it. I first colored it, did the Try to match it up as I could possibly. I did the lantern. I did this. I should have coated that blue, which I am going to do one day. I don't know what day, guys, so I'll do that one day. In the inside, I may try to make a David, Tar David Tennant TARDIS console. I rounded it, put the legs. Didn't exactly match up, but I tried. It just sits in there like that. I don't know if y'all can see that, but I hope y'all can. It sits in there like that. Sorry. Ah! <sighs> you know, say a curse word. <laughs> the light bulb burned my arm, guys. Sorry. The good thing I didn't. Oh. This is supposed to be a friendly family channel. Friendly family channel. Oh. <laughs> Last time I burned myself? Oh, a long time ago. Now... This I got a lot a hot topic. They still have it there. I got this one before I ever got this mask. I reviewed it on this channel too, where I did the unboxing of where you see my face. This is the Pandora opens during Matt Smith's era in season five. We all know that one. I've been a big fan of Doctor Who since I was ooh twelve or thirteen maybe. And then after that, I got this. This is a miniature sized TARDIS. I'll show you the box it came in. And also, this is the box too that the Pandorica opens. That's the box this came in. That's the one this came in. This is a Doctor Who 5th anniversary from the day of the Doctor. This one I reviewed too on my channel, if I remember correctly, hopefully. The lantern lights up, then it gives you a card of every single doctor from all the way from 1963 to Matt Smith. Sorry, guys. I'm a bit sweaty. Well, tired. Okay, I'm going to review the very first Sonic Screwdriver I ever made was this. David Tennant's. This is the original one I originally had. The one that I had, I reviewed on my old channel too. 
but the old one broke because it was originally a highlighter. Then I, my sister got me a new one. Then I basically remade this, but it doesn't have that round bits like it shows in Reveal of the Sonic and David Tennant, unfortunately. Somehow, maybe I will make that. And the second Sonic I ever got that's electronical was this one. This is on my old channel, too. My, my old channel is one with the blue box, the TARDIS, the, um, you know, it's David Tennant's TARDIS. That's my old channel. I still, well, still on there. I never took it down because my old phone was I broke. Is my channel still on there? Yes. This one I broke. Dropping the puddle. Dropping the batteries, the electronic car broke. And all that just, it's old because it's original on my side. I still use it as a prop for Doctor Who. Hang on. So flicks open. The claws. Mm. I just do that because the spring's not originally in there. This is my second one that my mom got me for Christmas. It's on, it's on this channel too. I reviewed it. Hang on. Come on. There we go. Got the light up. Then the first Sonic ever of Jody Whitaker that I got, well, I reviewed this too, so it's the broken one that doesn't work. The button, you see, that's mashed in. This is the one that works. I'm going to show you another of my TARDISes. Well, one TARDIS that I didn't review because it's a set, a live set, that I made a long time ago in art. Ninth grade or 10th grade, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Hopefully y'all can see that. That's David Tennant's TARDIS interior. I made this. The 10th Doctor's TARDIS. Yeah. It's old. There's the console, if y'all can see that, hopefully. The doors. It's not very much detail, but I try to put as much detail as I could in that TARDIS. And I'm working on this. This is the TARDIS console. It's David Tennant's. It's like the version he had on. Siri, from Chris Frackelson to, you know, series, season two, series two, basically. And I hope if there's any more TARDISes that I have that I can recognize that I have. Nope. Okay. I hope y'all like this video. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Tell me what you think of my Doctor Who collection review over the years that I have loved. Doctor Who that changed my life and saved my life in a way. Brilliant person. Jodie Whittaker's the new Doctor. I love her Doctor. Oh. Yeah, I forgot to review her. She's a figure. Tiny head figure. Same thing as this TARDIS. The one I'm pointing at. I came in this, but it's the same thing. It's the same kind of box. It's the Titan. Titans figures. Yeah. Same thing. So... I'll catch y'all on the next video. Later, guys. And I will do... Hang on before later. I will do a Sunday review of the second episode of Doctor Who. No spoilers are going to be on this channel. None of them. On the second episode, I will tell you what I think about it. My personal opinion and thoughts. Hopefully, all the seasons of Jodie Whittaker, every episode and series, hopefully will be all good on my all Doctor Who reviews. And I hope... and. I hope in that episode we get to see the TARDIS interior. And I can't wait to see the next episode. That's on Sunday. I actually forgot today it was Friday. So, uh, yeah. Not a good thing, guys. So, his head's getting really hot in here. Uh, I experienced that. I, I don't know how furries do it. I guess they got more of a um, high tolerance for heat. I usually do when I'm out in the sun a lot. Not with this, but with my regular face. So, I'm not going to break the magic for y'all on the face review. Because you've seen um, my previous viewers that have seen my face before I ever got this. 
gorgeous lion, Leo. So I hope y'all like this. And catch y'all guys later in the next video. Bye.